everyone to Jared Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 3, Episode 5 of Legacies, entitled, uh, this, this is, is What, what it, it takes. takes. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes in just a few moments. The room's a mess. I apologize. Um, I have cats, which is basically like having kids. It's daytime, if you can't tell, because uh, I am Caucasian. And therefore, I'm pasty. This is like white and there's like yellow here on this, but you can't even fucking tell because you would think that it is 90 degrees outside and sunny. It is rainy. It is dreary. And uh, my camera doesn't want to focus on my actual face. Neither here nor there. Uh, we're going to dive into it. The last episode was pretty decent. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Hello, brother. That shit's been stuck in my head. Uh, I watched episode three and four back to back, and it's been two days since I've watched an episode due to work, and the Salvatore, the Hello Brother, the rest of the musical is okay, but the Hello Brother part has been stuck in my head for those two days. Uh, I woke up and, and had to show, I had to show uh, my girlfriend, and I said, hey, watch this, and she was like, why is it good? And I was like, why, why is it good, is the million dollar question. So we're here, we're pasty, we're just going to go ahead and uh, hop into another episode. I feel like there should be a way to, I mean, I can lower that blind, potentially. It's not as bad, right? That should be better? All right. Uh, listen, we're just going to go ahead and get into the episode. I don't know my train of thought. I just had to lower the blinds. Everything's now confusion. You're like, where's the reaction? So let's give it to you. Front flip. Picking right up where the last episode left off. Anyone else thinking she's a monster? I know why you'd think that, because I know that Malaware monsters exist. I know that the reason why you're celebrating is because you just defeated them. I also know that you're a witch, an annoyed witch, probably wondering why MG's off with Alyssa Chang instead of you. What? Or her psychic. <laughs> she's totally psychic. She is psychic, You're a bro. vampire. Yeah. yeah. Doubling down on drunk. Mm -hmm. Also a witch. Actually, I gave up my magic. That's yeah. gonna make things more difficult. I mean, what more difficult? Do you remember that spell that Josie did to get rid of the Oni? Which I know about, clearly. Listen, we don't doubt what you know. We just doubt how you know it. He's fucking I gone off his ass. Landon means a lot to you, too. Hashtag bloop legacies. Can three weeks later, for the love of fuck, can we just immediately at the start of this episode, just give her everybody their memories back and just move on with it? If we have to recycle the whole Malavor forgot who you are for an episode, I don't want no part of it, dude. Let's just... The Salvatore School was built for one purpose. To protect young vampires, witches, witches and, and werewolves. werewolves from a world that would do them harm. Hello, brother. But it has grown beyond that mission. Recently, my students were forced to save the very world that had forced them into hiding. And we lost one of our own. Now we intend to find him no matter what the cost. So you know what? We really don't get a whole lot of time with Rick and his daughters. When we do, it's impactful. I think there should be more scenes around their relationship. Not to say there's not a lot. He mentions it often. It just doesn't feel like there's a lot of on-screen time between this guy and Lizzie and Josie. Like, who's on screen right now? Rick, Matt Davis. They should... There just needs to be a little more, I think. I'm assuming, three weeks later, now that you said you want to know what happened to Landon Kirby, that you are aware that Landon is who he is. The spell's been taught. Joe still forgot her magic. Everybody knows who Hope is again, but something now has happened to Landon again. I think I tracked down the artifact from your research. It seems a little shady. Want me to round it up for you? Yeah. I've got an idea. I mean, we just fucking scoot it. And I mean, scoot it past that, which is good. I'm glad that we did. He... It's something could have been mentioned in the three weeks later that, like, hey, after Hope learned this spell, blah, 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 blah. Something along those lines, right? I think it would have been fun. But, so now there's just a mystery of, like, what happened to, to Landon. Pinky. From Friday? The kid should wait in the car. Ain't no fucking kid, bro. That won't be necessary. I thought she was trying... Oh. Yeah. I thought she was trying to compel him for a second, but I'm just flashing my goddamn... Lock the door. Uh, Haley, my Haley eyes. Haley, it's me, Jackson. Your daughter is. She's got your eyes. It's not in here. 
Then try being. Let's get down to beast. If you don't make another move. <laughs> Sorry, pal. It looks like you bought a knife to a gunfight. I brought a knife. Yeah, it's dummy. Shotgun down. Shoot that. Shot through your skull. Bought a witch to a gunfight, idiot. All right, hope stop. That's a death spell. Hope don't. Yeah. Baby, get out of here. The spell won't work if she can't see you. Relax. I was just scaring him. And me. You promised me that we would do whatever it takes to get Landon back. This is what it takes. So that, so that spell. Maybe she's got a couple more dark, like the darkness. Maybe now she knows a little more uh, dark magic things with that death spell. Or is that the death spell she had from season one? Curious. Get the hell out of my way. Is that, is that for Vane? I mean, if she doesn't have a vampire side activated, so I don't know. Wakey, wakey, Damn. Eggs and bakey. That's a big yeah, ass fucking bowl, bro. What it means that dad trusts us more than ever. Oh, okay. That was a community bowl for everybody to come from and get. That's what, that's what we're having for dinner, by the way. This is Aiken, 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 South Carolina. Some, some Aiken, some, God damn it. Some bacon, some eggs, and some pancakes. No blueberries, though. I'm going to make an egg sandwich. A little bit of cheese. Lizzie, I don't eat bacon since I was a pig in a fairy tale, and I don't I, do That's magic. fair. And besides, I have to go. Go where? I, I can take the bacon off. On the tour, remember? To Mystic Falls High. Oh, yeah. Orientation. Uh -huh. Going to a new school. Get fucked. Mm. The couple of us that stayed behind after school went on break, we've tried everything, but we just so keep coming up empty. Schools on break is probably a good way to also, with if they were filming during the pandemic at this point, to get a lot of people out. But um, I'm glad to see they're on talking terms. Like, she hasn't went completely, you know, just savage about the whole situation. Here for me, she wouldn't have left out. <laughs> I'm giving it to you straight, Doc. You're the one that chose to tell her the Mystic Falls was overrun with supernaturals. <laughs> And she was fine with it, and they were going to move forward with that storyline. But again, things are happening, so it's rough. New job in Savannah, Georgia. Beautiful city, by the way. If you ever get a chance, if you're ever in Georgia or around Georgia, if you're in the United States, you should definitely head over to Savannah because that is a, a beautiful, gorgeous fucking city. Um, there's some really nice Airbnbs around there. There's some really nice hotels. You can go see Forsyth. Um, you can see see that park, see the cemetery, and just kind of walk around that downtown area, which is pretty nice. There's a bunch of shit to do down there. It's really nice. Uh, and also, you can stop in Covington, Georgia, which is where Mystic Falls was. You know, It's not in Virginia. It's in Georgia. So go visit it. Take a picture with the, uh, the bell tower. Tag me in it. Pretty dope. He so, said there's a single user setting. Great, so then I'll just be lonely and annoyed. The group setting created a simulation design. I think I would do the single person setting. I think it'd be fun. Trying to resolve what everyone... Whatever it takes, right? I thought I, I was waiting to see if he said this is what it takes after that. Oh, no. What is How that? It looks like somebody had a little bit too much to drink. I'll this get you some water. This is a stranger thing? As soon as you tell me all about porking Landon. I don't know where Fucking to start. Fucking hey, yuck. It's okay. First time's worst times, am I right? Just know that, like, that's a lot of people's mom right there. But you are the one who chose to punch her V-card in the creepy-ass cabin of the Mystic Falls maintenance man. So own it. Did you Exposition know that the locals dumping. think he haunts this place? He drowned in Salvatore Lake like years ago, but totally got her to know that this meant nothing to you. <gasps> oh my God, I know what you did last summer. Oh, you've been stabbed with a pitchfork. Oh no, that is actually creepy as fuck. Where did you come from? Where did you go, Cotton Eye Joe? What the fuck is that thing?
Take a tumble, take a tumble. Look at all this destruction. It's like a bomb went off in Mystic Falls. All out. Crawl out from the fallout, baby. Ah! Relax. Jesus, bro. It can't yeah, it's a, it's a gargoyle. Or hurt us. All right. Let's just uh, forget that I made that sound. I won't. You know what I'd like to forget about? I won't ever. You and Alyssa Chang. Yeah. Oh, we never really talked about that. No. You know what's crazy? And this is just so random. This whole episode, looking at Lizzie, she gives me, like, she does give me big sister vibes. The, the actor herself. Like, big sister or, like, that cool aunt you hang out with. Or, like, the really that one cousin you're really close with. Like That's the vibe I get from her. Like, she would slip you a beer. Yeah, kudos. Oh, that's not. It's a good. It's a good feeling. That's not like a knocker. I'm trying to joke or anything. Like that's a. That's a good feeling from a person to have. Why I brought you here? Then why did you? One, because I needed a supernatural source to siphon to power the astral projection spell, and two, what we're really trying to find is a way to convince Josie to stay at the Salvatore School. So now you're gonna stay after that interaction. Oh, there's his sister. Name's Fish. Oh, no, it's not. Just another person for Joe to have a crush on baby. I, I, I forgot what his sister looks like. I don't remember anything. They literally just said that they all left town except for him. I'm Joe. Joe's at Saltzman. You tell me. Over the intercom. Ready for that tour? Play. H hope you have options. And sometimes the best one is standing right in front of you. Wide open, Wide open okay, space. No Speaking of which. Attempt a football metaphor right now. Okay, you need to go. Well, so do you, because I just saw Landon at the dock with Lizzie's sister. What were they doing? <laughs> what were they doing is a great fucking question. Damn! Oh, it's Jason Voorhees style, bro! Fuck! Yeah, bro, that was Jason style. Picking them up in the motherfucking sleeping bag and swinging them around. Cold-blooded. So it is what it's supposed to be, because that's Camp Crystal Lake, essentially. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds done, done dirt cheap. That's not even the song. Josie? Good heavens, we all got this girl dressed in. Since you and Landon broke up, but who cares about that? There's a killer on the loose. Yes, the main. This is also kind of like a. Man, have you seen him? Like until dawn. Like like heavy until dawn vibes. Now he's. Every time, dude. It's just important you stuff. Can't. I have to solve the problem and find Landon. Yeah, bro. It's literally fucking four huge. You just yelled at her as she's falling in the back of a fucking lake. You didn't even try to like actually reach for her, and now the water's red. It's the hack flinging slasher. One way or the other. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Yeah, Pinky. Pinky in the brain. I'm gonna beat your fucking brains in with this bat if you don't give me this artifact. <laughs> My man said Uno reverse. Here's Landon. Everyone I love is dead. You won. I mean, kudos to them, bro, because that mask is fucking freaky. It's not scary, but it's freaky. That probably is Landon, yeah.
I remember him dissolving at the end of the last episode. I remember him turning to goo after they had sex, and she he threw up black goo everywhere and just dissipated into the fucking ground. I remember that. I don't know why this whole time I was thinking, like, when she did the spell and they remembered them, that it was just like, oh, and now something's happened to Landon. Okay, so him being disappeared, turning into goo, or trying to find him. Uh, I don't think he's dead, though, and if he is, what's the fucking point? Who is this naked mother? Oh! Oh! Oh, we in the buff! Oh, oh, damn. Um... Uh, hey, on second thought, you stay where you are. Um, Dad, sweetie, I'm hungry. Oh, God. The party's over. It's over, bro. And that concludes the tour. Thank you. This place seems perfect for me right now. That kind of goes back, dude. That just wiped everything that was remotely starting to be positive about Alyssa. Even there was, there was one thing, potentially... And then she talked about, I've always seen you talking like all that to MG and then to go around and just sleep with Jeb. Why? I mean, that can help MG get back to Lizzie, but that all just seems wasted. I'm surprised you even noticed. You were staring at me the whole time. <laughs> um, I was just listening very intently. <laughs> Got it. So, any questions? Uh, Girl, she one. likes you. What's your number? But it's personal. <laughs> Why did Ethan give you the stink eye when he saw you earlier? All right. Have you ever come back? All right. Joe, smooth as hell, boy. She played that shit about as perfect as you could play it. Hey, you should be proud of yourself because that shit was phenomenal. I wouldn't have been able to do it. it. You know, just tidying up. Oh, she's seeing the word everywhere. You said it yourself. This place isn't She still ain't said it. You can't find Landon. You put me in it so I'd give up on him. Meet them. Oh, drastic zoom in. Crew. Why would I pull you out? Let me show you something. So that Is guy. That the artifact we were looking for? So that guy swung on you with a bat. I'm assuming you caught it and then roll reversed it. How did you find that? They beat a man to death. Oh. And he ain't coming back. He, so Caleb's always on the, this person's gone, they're gone. Listen, Caleb is a good friend. And if he fucks with you, he fucks with you. But if there's even a sign that you're gone or a sign that you're dead, he's writing you off. I'm just letting you know. He, hey, he, Jeremy gone. I've been here worrying about things I can actually change instead of but you don't know that. Okay, did you and Lizzie find Landon in that prison world or not? Nah. -er. No. But I did stand up to her. You did, for you myself. Did. You did, you? <laughs> yeah, in a gentlemanly way. <laughs> we need to have a difficult conversation. That's good stuff, man, because we haven't really had much of Caleb and, and MG in season two outside of like the, the party. Right? They get together with his family. But, like, I mean, or we made, fuck, I don't even remember if that was season two or season one now, but that, um, uh, it's just good to see them together. Because they actually talk like real people talk and converse. Um, sometimes if some conversation in this show feels super fake or artificial or super too happy or super too negative, they actually have a real conversation. So, Shane asking for much. Oh, I'm so lucky you're my sister. Look at them. That's love. That's real love. Back at the fucking suicide lake. It looks like you're having a private moment. I'll just come back. It's okay. Stay. You Is walk down to tell her it looks like you have a private moment. I'm here to keep. But the pop right the fuck fuck up right now. Dark Phoenix, bro. Under the water. That's where we're going. Look at burbling. See, there go there goes that fucking birthday cake, cupcake, candlelit thing. In the episode. Don't show him. In the episode. 
Ah, you bums. I was gonna tell you, don't go towards. Well, yeah, go towards the light, I guess, in this situation. And the episode's over. Hashtag bloop. When she uses Professor Vardamus' therapy box to find Landon, Hope is transported to 1980 summer camp and is stalked by a masked killer. I miss the I miss the roll credits. I miss the this is what it takes. I feel like it I feel like there's a couple moments where I know it was said, but it, it just wasn't. Um It's a good episode. It just feels like it's it's all over the place, I guess. It feels like it's missing something. Uh maybe the pacing was just off, but it's good to see MG and Caleb together and Lizzie accepting Josie going to a new school and Josie potentially getting a new crush, a new girlfriend. Uh Alyssa and Jeb being a thing together means MG can potentially get with Lizzie and Lizzie can actually have something there at the school with her, even though I like the idea of it being a little bit of her having nothing outside of like maybe hope, but you know, um, Jeb doing that, knowing that him and her and MG were dating makes sense. Alyssa doing it just feels like a wash of her character. Rick beating a man to death with a baseball bat feels out of left field. I don't think he beat him to death, but he still beat him to get the wish thing. Uh, and then I think the wish thing just opened up finally after it was thrown into the water so she can get him back. I don't know where the rest of the season goes. There was no mention of the necromancer. There was no random monster attacking outside of what was happening inside of the, the, the prison world. I'm curious to see where this goes, especially again with the, with the release dates of it and everything. I'm happy for Joe. I'm happy for MG. I'm happy for a lot of the characters, except for really MG when it comes to the, the Alyssa situation. But I hope he can get back. You know, him and Lizzie could do what they're destined to do at this point, and then hope and get Landon back, and then we stop splitting them up, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like the episode is weirdly paced. I still don't know how I feel. So I will see you guys tomorrow for episode six. This was this is what it takes in episode six is entitled To Whom It May Concern. That is what it said, right? Yes. All right. I'll see you all there. We'll see what happens next. Links to everything in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.